Hey guys, Promal Chaos here. Welcome to the channel. And man, whew, I'm going to feel like the prodigal son returning on this one. Um, look, you guys have been fantastic. With Every time I introduce a new band to the channel, um, it seems to bring a new core audience. Um, and no audience is as passionate. Well, actually, that's not true. You're all as passionate as each other. And I know there's a lot of crossover, but honestly, it does. If I bring in a new band, suddenly a whole bunch of new followers sort of jump on the bandwagon. And uh, it, it sort of becomes a bit of a balancing act for me about what to select next because I don't want to alienate anyone. But look, to be honest with you, um, the Spirit Box fans, the Ginger fans, the, you know, um, Nightwish fans, all, all of you guys, when you, when you turn up, you turn up in force. And uh, Spirit Box, I think, was the first sort of one I had like that where it was just like absolutely rabid fan base jumped on and, and all they want to do is impart all their wisdom to me which is fantastic again that's the whole point of this journey right i know nothing you guys need to teach me um if you want to get more consistent and accurate reactions the best way that's going to happen is you, you guys need to tell me what i'm getting wrong and what i'm getting right you know so um but you know that was i first experienced that with spirit box because you guys just man your love for that band it just transcends anything you know so um I needed to get back to them. And one of the names that consistently keeps coming up um, in the comments is Constance. So we're going to do that today. Let's see. I, I, I'm not sure what the timeline for this one is, if it's relatively new or an old one. I've got a feeling it's one of their older ones. Uh, again, I, I really need to sort of keep up with stuff like this. But you've got to understand in the last four weeks, um, I've made over 40 videos and the majority of them coming from different acts. And every time I put something up, I just get this amazing just info dump of everything there is to know about that band. And sometimes I feel like I'm going to conflate things and things like that and maybe get some things wrong. Um, but just bear with me. You know, you guys know the story. Um, yeah, but let's jump straight in. I, I'm, I'm super keen to hear this. It loves me some spirit box. Courtney always presents so unusual for this genre. Oh, and I, I'm, I'm totally about that. Just be yourself, man. Oh, nice cleans. Come on. Just enough to escape it. Heretics would face me. Lose the trust in the one. Palms are up when you promise. Fire lights when you're honest. Before we go any further, man, there's so much I've got to call out already. That's such a beautiful tapestry of, of sonic brilliance, right? Um, I'm just, I just want to have a quick look at the, uh, the lyrics because I... Yeah, I just want to get more of a feel about what, where this is heading, but we'll see. Um, man, so much. Okay, first of all, the, the clean guitar sound is stunning. It's just so bell-like. Um, at first I thought, well, that's clearly like a Telecaster or a Strat, but um, it seems like some other guitar. I'm going to have to have a closer look. Um, same idea, single coil sound. But where the mastery comes in is is the production, like the mixing and stuff like that. The reverbs are so lush. Um, the reverb and Courtney's voice, if you listen, I'll go back and you can listen to it. It's just sitting in this beautiful bed of just, um, just, uh, you know, it's like a fluffy cloud of reverb just bouncing around in the, in the soundscape. Uh, wow. Hang on. Let me go back. Cause, uh, and rhythmically it's nice too. He's playing that sort of scale pattern kind of riff thing. Um, I believe he's got a, he's working through a delay as well to sort of get that rhythm. Um, oh, nice drum sound too. Wow. Can't read the name. The best way to hear the reverbs and delays is to allow yourself to not focus on Courtney's voice and just close your eyes and just listen, you know, to the sound stage. Um, and you'll hear so much more stuff going on than you imagine, particularly if you've got headphones on, it's, it's the best way to experience it. Um, but you'll hear her sing. And when she finishes a line, you'll just hear this wash come over 
And then a few sec, a few fractions of a second later, you'll hear, you know, her echo coming in and maybe even ping ponging and stuff like that. But just listen, this is a perfect example. Night, night, night. You know, like the um, and it's so pulled back in the mix, it, it becomes textural. It doesn't sound like an echo or a delay for effect. It just it just adds a like this flavor to the entire sound. And man, it's it's so skillfully done. It's beautiful. <clears throat> This is another great example of using a delay to create a rhythmic tapestry. So uh, watch his fingers and he's playing the notes like da -da 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 -da, whatever it is. Um, but because he's got a slap back echo on it in time with the, with the, with the beat um, and like a, I guess like an eighth note or something like that, you get like this um, kind of feel to that rhythm you know so it's it's very much similar to how the edge plays from u2 um and i mean plenty of other people too but here's the standout one that everyone calls out for using too many effects <laughs> but um yeah that's just a beautiful example of using brilliant production to embellish an already great sound there's a cool dissonance in the in the chords there and i'm not sure whether it's being played or if it's just an overlap from the extreme reverbs from the chords be before it but it makes you feel real uneasy <coughs> hang on one second when that wall of sound hits it's like the second chord in the progression Right there, there's something going on that's dissonant. That's a great doubling there. Wow. I'm trying not to get too swept up in the clip because it's so engaging. Wow. Um, but just, yeah, there's some really nice. I'm not sure if that's synthetically doubled or if it's um, her low voice or maybe his low voice underneath, but really nice. Oh, yeah. And can we get back to, I'll jump back to here, but there was a tonal change. Yeah. 
Garcia. Cool backings. That's really nice. Oh, wow, what? <laughs> I thought I was seeing things. Hang on. That's really clever. Parts of her life disappearing. Wow. Man, that's dark sounding, isn't it? Wow. <sighs> You gotta love a good breakdown, man. They just they just never cease to amaze me with their creativity. And the creativity here comes from its simplicity. It's just like dun 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 dun, you know. Listen to that. That synth just just granularly just descends into just noise. That's really beautifully chosen. Just listen to the synth. See how it starts to break up into static? Nice electric piano feel. What an intense ride. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll be right back. So you guys have heard me talk about colorblindness before. Um, one in six guys, one in 200 women are colorblind. It could be you. Um, if you had trouble making decisions about colors or putting on really odd outfits that people don't seem to like, <laughs> there's a good chance you're colorblind. So head over to Enchroma. Just click the link in my description. It'll take you there and you can do a free eye test. Find out what kind of colorblindness you have. And while you're there, you can pick up some corrective lenses. Um, honestly, they've changed the game for me. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of their stuff. They also have some amazing frames um, to suit everybody and every lifestyle. Uh, and also a 60-day money-back guarantee. So you've really got nothing to lose. If you use the code CHAOS in checkout, you'll get 10% off. Tell them Primal Chaos sent you. All right, so Spirit Box Constance. Look, sometimes writing emotional music isn't just about choosing the right chords or choosing the right um, instrumentation. Sometimes it's about just writing from the heart and the soul. And it... it as much as I don't know the backstory of this song, I think people have mentioned in the comments something about it's written about maybe Courtney's grandmother or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. You guys will fill me in, I guaranteed. But um, it doesn't matter. Like at the end of the day, if you if you watch this video and listen to the song, which you kind of need to do probably to get the full force of it, uh, it's an emotional song. It's, you know, it's deeply emotional, but it's also beautifully constructed it's, it's so competently pieced together uh i guess in a way to honor the intensity of the emotional content of the song right it's not the kind of song you want to just half ass and throw sort of some bits in and sort of see how it goes this is a perfectly crafted art piece from the ground up everything from 
the selection of the guitar to the production, the choices of reverbs, um, the melodies, the harmonizations, just cohesively how the band works together. The drum rhythms are, are beautifully sort of, you know, sometimes talent comes from staying your hand rather than overplaying. And in this case, nothing is stands out as, you know, being where it shouldn't be. Everything is exactly where it should be. Um, it's just a stunning song. It's a stunning production. It's a stunning music video. Uh, it definitely makes you feel something. Um, it almost feels like, it almost feels like a short film with an amazing soundtrack, you know? And that's, I don't know. I wonder if I would have had that same feeling if I'd have just listened to the song first, but either way, it definitely has a flavor to it that, that seems like a movie soundtrack. Um, and I think some of that in part is to do with the production because, you know, obviously cinematic film scores and soundtracks and where they use a song to embellish part of a movie, um, they never choose just trash. It's always really, really high quality material too. So, and this would fit straight in on any movie, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say this. It's other than what a powerful piece it's yeah, definitely going to be one of my ones that I'm going to play on, you know, uh, on like a cloudy afternoon, <laughs> but man, thank you so much for that recommendation. That really, that, that song actually means a lot to me and it, and wow the the whole thing is just stunningly perfect wow excellent work <laughs> to the primal chaos community out there thank you um okay so look if i've brightened your day at all which is <laughs> unlikely with this song choice if i've made you feel something today um feel free to buy me a coffee i'll, <laughs> I'll drop a link in the description um also you know like share subscribe follow whatever all that stuff it, it's just great for the reach of this community um, you know, if you like what you see, clearly you want other people to enjoy it too. So sharing is the best thing you can do. Um, thank you so much guys. Thank you for making me feel something in my 44 year old black and soul. Um, yeah, excellent work. Um, I'll catch you on the next one.